Moorpool Estate was built between 1907 and 1912. It was the brainchild of John Sutton Nettlefold, who really is a forgotten figure within Birmingham now, but he was an amazing character. He came to Birmingham to work at the family company, which became GKN, Guest, Keen and Nettlefold. He worked in various industries, but what he was most interested in was what we would now call social justice and social reform. He saw people who had terrible living conditions in Birmingham and wanted to make a difference. So, when he had the opportunity, he purchased some land. He commissioned the architects Martin and Martin to build around 500 houses across 54 acres. At the centre was the idea that everybody could live together. There were different sized houses, so there were larger houses for wealthier people and those with bigger families. There were smaller houses for married couples just starting out or people on lower incomes. And at the centre of this was the hall. The idea was that everybody should be able to socialise together. Over a hundred years after the estate was completed, the hall is still used in the same way. There are also lots of community activities. The estate has tennis courts, there are two tennis clubs, a bowling club, skittles club, rifles club and fishing club. Behind many of the gardens there are also allotments. It's very much a garden suburb. This wasn't Nettlefold's idea, but a broader idea that was taken up by many at the time. Places like Moorpool were very much built in response to the problems of slum and back-to-back -back housing, and the belief that everybody has a right to a decent standard of living.